yesterday was when I managed to have a fire in here. I was cooking meatloaf in a glass skillet with a lid and it just happened to overflow enough and spill some grease over and it caught it on fire. So we're going to clean this up. Thank goodness it was a small fire. It wasn't anything big. So I'm just going to be cleaning up this disaster. I'll show you how I do it. So I know there's a lot of different chemical cleaners and stuff like that out there, but I'm not going to use any of those. I'm actually going to take my scraper that I use for my Dutch oven cookware and scrape this. See how easily that's scraping up? There's no reason to go out and get those nasty chemicals and spray your oven with them. Just after, you know, something's happened, let it sit a little while. I sprinkled the baking soda on there initially to put out the flame, but then also to help soak up that grease that I had going on. Check that out. That is scraping up beautifully. So yeah, you don't need to go out and get those nasty, nasty chemicals. I will show you the next step in one second. All right, I've got that all scraped up. Got a bowl here. I'm just gonna take this, put it right in that bowl. And believe it or not, that's actually gonna go out to one of my flower beds. Okay, so now I'm left with this. How do we clean that up? So because there is still some grease there, I've got my favorite cleaning, well, one of my favorite things to clean with. This is just a bottle of Dawn dish soap and water. I'm just gonna spray it, let it soak for a little while, and then I'll just go in with a rag, and it's amazing how quickly it actually cleans right up. Now the rag I'm going to use, well, I might actually break out. This is one reason why I keep uh, paper towels on hand. I'm not a big fan of paper towels, but before I get my rags out, this might be a job for the paper towel first. So there, I'm going to let that sit. And since I'm here, my window <laughs> had some splattering happen last night, so get over here and clean it also now a lot of people actually use a razor and I don't have one on hand so I'll just scrape off any of the harder stuff with my and this is just a lodge cast iron uh, scraper that's all it is just gonna grab that with my finger okay move that now I'm just gonna do the same thing I'm just gonna soak this I like using Dawn dish soap. I know it's still a chemical. Yes, I know. I'm well aware. But I like it over a lot of those other harsher chemicals that you can use. So there. I'm just going to let this sit for about five minutes, let it really break up, and then I will start scrubbing and cleaning. I'm going to start by starting to scrub off my window first. It would come off a lot cleaner if I had the razor handy. I just don't. But I'm going to scrape this first, only so that I'm not putting my arm in this as I'm trying to get into that portion next. I'm not a big fan of using paper towels. I don't like one and done type things. So I have a pretty decent selection of things that are rags that we use. But when it's something this dirty, you know, it leaves you with the choice of scrubbing I mean well not scrubbing so then I have to wash those rags does that make sense so 
I would have to hand wash them first. Then I would need to go to the next part and then get, you know, into the wash. And I just don't want that mess in my washing machine or, you know. So anyway, I'm just going to come at it with the paper towels first and then get my rags in there. All right, time to get into that mess. Got my paper towels. Look how gross that is. That's why I'm using paper towels. It's just gross. Look at that. It doesn't even look like I hardly did anything. Well, I guess it actually made me is a little bit. Oh, just a little. gonna do while that's still damp well and I can spray it some more so I'm gonna spray it just a little bit more and then get in there with my scraper and scrape it up some more all right I just scraped it again and I apologize for not turning on my oven light earlier sometimes I I forget I have one I don't know it had been uh, it had gone out a while ago and it took a while to get a replacement bulb just because you know how it is, you go to the store, and even though it's on your list, you forget. Yeah, that was for like two months. Anyway, look at that. I scraped it up again after I had let it sit, and it's coming up. I guess I'm glad I'm using the paper towel. Because this could be... I mean, it's not that I mind hand washing after a heavy duty cleaning when I have to use my rags, but I'm a little bit busy today. Got a lot going on. So this is just gonna be a little bit easier today. All right, it's coming along. It's getting there. All right, just finished scrubbing it again. Let's see what the transformation looks like this time. Oh, look at that. Look how much better that is. Not gonna lie, it's taking some serious elbow grease. But look at that, it's coming up. Oops. Sorry, guys. It's amazing how one spillover can make such a mess in the oven. Huge difference from where we started off. <laughs> it, it takes some serious elbow grease. It takes some scrubbing. It's not perfect, but it is what it is. All right, guys, there it is. Clean enough to see what happens next time we have a small cooking disaster. Um, if anybody knows what you could line the bottom of your oven with, let me know. I know some people use foil, like tin foil and stuff, but it's not advised to use it. So is there something you guys use that works and is proven safe? Let me know. I am curious. So this glass door was bugging me just enough today that instead of holding off and doing it later, you know, why hold off? for later if you can just get it done today and I have enough time right now so anyway I went and asked my husband for one of these razors and I'm gonna very carefully scrub my window now these things are sharp as heck so please please be careful and I just take it you go at an angle and hold it back there where it's safe and you just see that just scrape the gunk off see that Big difference. So I'm going to scrape this window and get it all cleaned off. It really doesn't take long at all. And I, and I will be so glad when this is over that I took action and I just did it today. You know, seriously, why hold off and do later if you really can get it done now? Well, it's better than it was. And I will take it. So now to get the racks back in 
and get dinner started and cross my fingers, I don't have any spilling. So hey guys, thanks for watching. This is Audra from Homesteading in Idaho. End of the day, no makeup, tired mom look, totally owning it. Uh, so anyway, thanks for watching. If you liked it, hit that like button, consider subscribing, and hopefully I'll see you on the next video.